The first uh, views of Atlantis's uh, payload bay, the uh, airlock in the uh, foreground uh, from which the uh, five back-to-back -back spacewalks will be conducted. Uh, just behind that, uh, looking aft, uh, you see the super lightweight interchangeable carrier that uh, houses the new wide field camera uh, that will be installed uh, on the telescope. Uh, out of view behind that is the orbital replacement unit carrier, and then uh, all the way at the back end of the payload bay is the flight support system. Uh, another rack of uh, change out hardware for the telescope uh, housed on the multi use logistics equipment carrier in the very back of the payload bay along the uh, Left side on the right in this view as the uh, left-hand door comes open is the shuttle's robotic arm. The uh, remote manipulator system will uh, be used extensively throughout the flight. Uh, its first opportunity uh, will be uh, during a checkout a little bit later uh, on the first day of the flight. And then throughout the second day of the flight, it will, uh, you, it will grapple the um, the extension boom, the orbiter boom sensor system you see on the uh, along the right side of the payload bay and in the, on the left in this view that will be used to do an extensive survey of all of the uh, uh, thermal protection system, the tiles and the uh, reinforced carbon-carbon wing leading edge panels and nose cap, as well as some uh, additional views uh, back near the tail of the orbiter on either side, the orbital maneuvering system pods. The robotic arm uh, throughout uh, the mission will be uh, operated uh, most extensively by Megan MacArthur as she's serving as the uh, flight engineer and the lead robotics officer for the mission.